welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, we are going to be doing everybody's favorite video. This is the completed pages and whips for the month of November. I was able to get a few done. Um, I am in the process of working on my December series. So there are several pages that I did get done this month that I'm not going to be sharing until next month. So, um, but anyway, regardless of all of that, let's get started. I'm going to show you what I did. So first I have two pages in daydreams that are, they were whips and I finally got them finished up and it's these two. I really like the way that it turned out. So before I had just done this little, um, this cute little mousy guy and I think the flowers and the leaves and gem. Uh, so then I went through and finished up the rest of that. I used some ink tents in the background and then just, I think just my Prisma colors, I wanna say, let me double check. Yeah, so I used my um, my Prisma colors to finish this page off. I do have a little bit of gold sparkle pot pen around the outside edge of, of the frame here. A little bit of stickles on the leaves. Uh, I just thought it turned out pretty cute. And then so I used the same colors from this page over on this side. And on this side, I ended up using some markers as a base. So just my uh, Crayola Super Tips. And then uh, I think that was a base for the, the branch and the leaves and maybe the tops of the acorns. And then the rest of it is all Prismacolors. I shaded with Prismacolors. And on the um, acorns themselves, I did shading with my Prismas. I really like the way that these bugs turned out though. I'm not usually a fan of bugs, but I really liked that purple. And I liked the way that this has like that blue green kind of shimmer to it. Uh, and then in the background, I don't know if you can really see that, but I used a stencil with some chalk pastels. And um, just really like the way that that looked. So I've used that, I used that I think a couple of times, maybe not in this, I don't know. I don't remember, remember if I've used that multiple times this month or not, but, um, but yeah, so there is that. I still really wanted to get this one done, but I didn't get back to it. So it's still waiting, but I do have, I'll offer a little sneak peek. Woo. <laughs> That is for next month. So that is from Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. Next I did, let's see, let me show you this one here. So this is from Whimsical Darlings Halloween. It was right at the beginning of the month and I just really wanted to do one more Halloween page. So I decided to do this page and I really like the way that she turned out. I thought she turned out really cute. I used, I think just my, yeah, so I used alcohol markers on her skin. Everything else has a base of um, Prismacolor. Nope, nope, not Prismacolor, Crayola markers. And then I did pencil on my owl. In the background, I used Distress inks and a stencil and just kind of had fun with it. There's a little bit of silver on her little leaf and her, her cape. But other than that, yep, yeah, she turned out cute. So that is that one from Whimsical Darlings Halloween by Yana Prosferina. Then I have this page. This was a buddy color with, I believe it was, Amanda. yeah, with Amanda from Amanda Colors. And we did this one. So this is my first page in the Asia book by Rita Berman. I love this book. Um, I am a little intimidated by it, like I am by all of her books, but I, once I started working, I was like, oh, this is so fun. So I decided to go with all blue. I had seen so many inspirational images of um, all the blue Ming vases, uh, and so I decided to just do all blue, and I really like the way that turned out. And then I think over here I'm going to do all maybe jade, like make it look like jade green. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited to, to kind of stick to one color <laughs> on these two pages. But uh, yeah, I really loved it. I used, let's see, what did I use on this? I used my Derwent Lightfast. Nope, not Derwent Lightfast. I used my Derwent Pro Color because they have a ton of blues. Uh, and there's, they're, I really liked the blues that they, that they, that they had. So I used that. And then the really, really dark parts are um, my Derwent Lightfast. 
There's a really dark blue in that. I think it's like indigo or something. But, yep. Added a little bit of white Posca. There's no shimmer or anything to this. It's just, just straight color pencil. I really like the way it turned out. So there's that one from Mine, Mine Risa Dirk Asian, maybe. Dirk? Is it Dirk? I think. I think it is. Uh, the next one, let's see. The next one I did here, I'll show you this one too. So this is another, this was a group buddy color. So this was uh, in Fall Friends by Deborah Muller. This is a group buddy color that Jamie's Coloring Love had picked out. And so I just decided to, to do this one. I thought it would be a fun one to do. Very uh, on theme for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I figured that's what my hair was going to look like after I, <laughs> I had been cooking all week. Um, but yeah, I just, I used uh, some alcohol markers in the background. I think some Prismacolor. No, gosh, why do I keep saying Prismacolor? Crayola Super Tips on some of the other things. And then just, I think, Prismacolors for the shading and stuff. Yeah, Prismacolors for the shading. And I did go through and I had started some skin tones for a couple other ones that I thought about going back and doing. But, see, I got quite a bit of that done. I think that was all, is that all? No, nope. that's a mix of super tips and alcohol markers. But I did that one and I did that one. Those two were both ones that I wanted to get back to, but didn't get a chance. This book is really cute. It has so many fun ones. So yeah, I would like to get back and finish some of those pages sometime. But yeah, so that is the one in that book. I do have one more buddy color. And this one is with Corey from Colorfully Optimistic. I have not seen Corey's page yet. Um, and if she hasn't finished, that's okay. I love her anyway. <laughs> but Corey, if you don't want to see it, don't look right now. Uh, but we did this beautiful page from Yana Prosrina. We got this off of her Etsy shop. And so I have this printed on just some regular, I don't even know what paper this is, you guys. I, <laughs> I am so not, I just am not aware of what, I think it's a Nina, a Nina, is it Nina? Nina, I don't know, a Nina paper. I don't even, I don't know the weight. I don't know <laughs> anything. But this paper, for some reason, works really well with my, um, alcohol markers. So that's what I used for most of it. So you can kind of see on the back there. So I did um, alcohol markers as a base for the majority of it. Went back over with my Prismacolors, I think. No, my polys. My polychromos were my um, shading. Then I did, this is another one where I did the chalk in the background and then I did a stencil, a leaf stencil, and did more chalk on top of that. Uh, so that's how I got that really soft kind of look in the background. Uh, used a little bit of gold sparkle pop on her earrings and her nose ring and her lip ring. But yeah, I gave her a bunch of freckles. I thought she turned out really cute. I really liked the way this page looks. I really liked the way that Corey's was going, but she started hers again like three different times. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if she, if she can get it done. I would, I would love to see it. So because I know that she'll just make it beautiful. So, okay, Corey, you can look again if you had looked away. Uh, next, I have a page in Fall Vibes by Deborah Muller. I had purchased several fall books by Deborah Muller, so I figured I'd better color a couple. I did this one. Really liked the way that she turned out, too. I'm pretty happy with all of the pages I did this month. Um, so this one was, let's see. I have alcohol marker on the squirrel and her skin. Then, um like Crayola marker on the leaves, the branches, the acorn. The background was done with, let's see, were they done with Prismas? Background was done with Prismas. And then of course all the shading. Used a Posca, an ivory Posca to do all the lines on her scarf and her hat. Um, yeah, and I think I used Black Widows or, or Polly's to do the squirrel um, fur. Yeah, I really like the way that that one turned out. And I like this book a lot, too. I like the portraits. I haven't started anything else in here, but um, some, of the, some of the animals are a little creepy to me, but, like, I really like that one. I think that one's beautiful. Several really good ones. I like that one a lot. 
That would be a cute one for winter. I might keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about some of the animals, but it's not for me. So, okay. So, yeah, there's that one. So that's the one I did in this book. Then I've got a page that I did in A Million Magical Creatures. So this is one that is on my books to finish eventually. And I did this super cute page. I really like it. I, uh, again, used my Crayola Super Tips as a base for the majority of the page. And then I went through with my Black Widows to shade it. And a little bit of Prismacolor here and there as well. But yeah, it was mostly the markers and it, I don't know, it just made it really vibrant, really poppy. I did add in some gold sparkle pop pen in um, like for some of the accents on the mushrooms, the stars and stuff in the background. Um, just really, really liked it. And it was just a matter of going through my super tips and be like, okay, this is kind of a fall color. This is, so I pulled like five or six colors that I thought would kind of go together and make a nice fall palette and there you go. And then I just spread it out all over the page as much as I could, so. And I kept all like the creatures kind of that similar gray peachy tone, gray or peachy tone. So yeah, super cute. So that's another one done in this book, makes me happy. I do have a couple flagged to color next month. I don't know which one of those I'll do yet, but one of those, one of those, and that'll be another book in, or another page in this book. Put that back in there. Okay, then we've got, let's see got this one. So this one is Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodrich and I did, oh I did two in here. I did this one. So this is my, my cornucopia that I did for uh, Thanksgiving. This was my, my main Thanksgiving um, page I guess. I used some alcohol markers. I used some, what else did I use? I think mostly alcohol markers actually. Yeah mostly alcohol markers and then um, Prismacolors to shade. I did use for this light blue. Oh no, it wasn't Prismas. Uh, no, it was. Gosh, it was Prismas. Uh, and then in the background here, I used, I think, a, a really light um, Derwent pencil, but I can't remember which one exactly. But it's like a super light blue. You probably can't even tell that it's blue, but I can see it a little bit from here. Um, but yeah, and then had all the lovely um, veggies and fruits to color really like I added a, a little bit of um, like copper color stickles to the outside ribbon and to this like the edging of this ribbon here which I thought just made that super pretty and sparkly and nice uh, so there's that one and then I also finished up this one this one had been a work in progress for a really long time and I finally finished it uh, the only thing that I don't love is I wish that maybe either these flowers or these flowers were a different color so I'm thinking maybe like if these ones had been more this color or these ones had been that color. I don't know. But I, one of those is not right. <laughs> I still can't figure out which one. But I like the overall the overall look. I think it um, it's really nice. I like the, the, the little birdies. I like how my door turned out. Um, this is, again, some alcohol markers and Prismacolors. That's kind of been my theme this month. Um, yeah and I like the, the green little green pumpkins I have um, yeah I thought it turned out really cute so there is that I got two done in autumn charm next I have a page from Luna this is my first kind of wintry holiday one and I decided to change a page into a holiday scene so this is this page was originally now it's a really like crinkly <laughs> because I used a ton of water. So let me explain. So this originally had, um, there was no scarf here. Uh, there were no boots and there, her sleeves were not long. So I drew in all of those things. And then I added um, like greenery and holly and things like that around the outside edges. Um, the background, oh Lord. So I started out trying to use my Arteza watercolor pencils and I just I don't know if it's me I don't know if it's user error but I've heard other people say that maybe the pigment is not as vibrant 
or something is happening with those pencils because I cannot, I could not get them to lay down. So I had already done like a couple of layers and, you know, used as much, <laughs> a bunch of water. And then I had to go over the top of it with some Black Widow pencils to try to smooth it out as best I can because it was just not working. And I don't love this open area here. Like I wish they had closed it. I probably could have closed it. That's what I should have done, huh? I should have just continued that. Uh, why didn't I think to do that? I could still probably do it, right? There's room for me to add that in. That's a possibility. I might go do that. But anyway, so the rest of this I used um, Crayola Super Tips for the red and the greens. And then I used lots of white Posca to cover up her hair. Uh, I think that if in the future, if I want to do white hair in these books again, I'm just going to paint the entire hair white instead of trying to do each individual strand and then come in and add shading where I want it and stuff because like she does a lot of strands in the hair. So you can kind of see here, there's like each individual strand has a, a black line. So it was a lot of white Posca to cover that up. Uh, but then I added... Uh, I added snow on all the plants. I made these like Arctic foxes instead of like regular foxes um, or wolves or whatever they are. I don't know what they are, but I thought they were super cute and um, just stuck with that kind of red and green color palette. Uh, yeah, I thought she turned out really good. So, um, and I don't know if you can see it. You probably won't be able to see it. Um, if you look really close, I don't know if my <laughs> camera is going to focus on um, down here. You can kind of see her toe lines, but that's why I made her boots black was so <laughs> I didn't have to use too much to cover that up. But that's always fun to do is to take a page and just kind of change it just a little bit to make it whatever season that you want to make it. Um, yeah, I like how she turned out. So that is that one from Luna. And then last but not least, so this is a whip, and this is in progress, but it's almost done. Almost done. So this is what I've got so far. I just have to, I'm going to darken up this um, banner, I think, in here. I'm going to add another layer of white Posca because it really wanted to sink into the color underneath, and I still have to color this cutie and um, finish up the door because that just has a layer of marker on it currently. So I need to add in some shading. But other than that, it's it's real close to being done. So I've got this one. I did start a couple of other ones in here. And I have to be careful because I do have one in here that is um, a surprise for the Christmas series. So here's one I started. I've just kind of gone through and done a few bits and pieces here and there. With my Crayola markers, I just grabbed grabbed that marker, those markers, and just kind of sat down and did a bunch of. Oop, that's that's the one. Oh, here's the other one. I thought that would be a cool one to do with blues and grays and silvers, and so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with my super tips lately. Um, so yeah, so that is. That is that one, and that is all of my pages so far this month. So, um, like I said, I do have a couple of others that were um, done this month, but I won't be sharing them until next month since they're all in the 12 Days of Christmas series. And that is going to start on December 1st, just in case you are curious and would like to, would like to um, hang out and watch me color some stuff and have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.